Hello, I am Marisha and welcome to my creative diary. I hope you're having a great day. So today I'm going to teach you how to create a super easy pop-up box card. So let's get started. To begin, I brought in Lawn Fawn's Small Stitch Leaves die set. And off camera, I used a variety of cardstock colors such as red, orange, yellows, and greens to die cut the leaves. You also have the option to die cut the leaves out of white cardstock and then spray stain them with your oxides. Or you can use any color medium that you prefer, whether it's Copic markers or any inks that you would like to add color to your leaves. This project is inspired by my love for fall. I love it so much, just as much as I love winter and snow. <laughs> Growing up in Virginia, I would love to see the leaves change and just the vibrant colors. And not only that, I would love to rake up the pile of leaves and just jump in them. Just so many memories. I love it so much. Now that I'm done spraying my leaves, I'm going to place them to the side and allow them to dry and it's on to the next step. Now it's time to create our pop-up card base. So I brought in a piece of cardstock which is eight and a half by 11 inches. I'm then going to cut it at two inches. So when I'm done, this will be a two inch by 11 inch piece of cardstock. Now it's time to score it. So we're going to score at one inch, then five inches, six inches, and finally ten inches. Now I'm going to fold along the scored lines and once I'm done, this will create my box base. This is a really easy project. It is, you don't need a die, just, you know, cut out your cardstock and then score the lines and you'll have your pop-up base. I want this base to resemble grass, so I decided to bring in Lawn Fawn's Grassy Border Die. I am now going to position the die on the base, and then from there I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine. And just like that, a grass pop-up card base. Now this part right here, I'm not going to toss it out. I'm going to actually use some of it for this project and then the rest I'm going to save for a future project. So for the base, I need to add another layer of grass. So as you see right here, all we see is a hole. So I'm going to use this piece to attach it to another strip of cardstock and we're going to place it in the middle of this base. That way it gives it that full effect. But first I'm going to bring in Distress Oxide's Rustic Wilderness and I'm going to add some shading to my card base. Once I'm done applying the oxide to the card base, I'm then going to apply the color to the other piece of grass. For this piece that is going to go in the middle of our base, I cut out a one inch by six inch piece of cardstock and I scored it at one inch and five inches. Now I'm going to bring in that piece of grass and I'm going to position it on this piece of cardstock and then I'm going to trim it down and then adhere it. Now what I could have done was I could have die cut the grass from this piece of cardstock, but I didn't want to. I did not want to waste what I already cut out, so I decided to use what I already have. Now I'm going to bring in the blending brush that has Rustic Wilderness on it, and I'm going to add some more oxide to the strip of cardstock. Now I'm going to adhere my base together. It looks like my insert is just a little bit too big, so I'm going to have to perform some crafty surgery. I brought in my scissors and I'm going to cut about a half an inch from each end. Now let's try it again. 
Okay, it looks like it's gonna be a good fit. Look at that, that is so cool, I love it. Once I'm done, I'm going to add some adhesive glue to each end and I'm going to adhere it to the inside of my pop-up box. I love how this is coming together. This is so neat. And I'm going to just double check to make sure that everything is secure. So I'm going to fold it down and then it's on to the next step. I'm now bringing back in my leaves after they dried and oh my goodness, I am so glad I decided to add the tarnished brass spray stain. I love the metallic shine, love it. I'm now going to bring in a piece of acetate and I'm going to add some leaves to the front and the back. I'm going to adhere them to the acetate using adhesive glue, but feel free to use adhesive tape if you'd like. I'm now adhering adhesive tape to the bottom of the piece of acetate. And then from there, I'm going to position and adhere it to my pop-up card base. And from here, I'm just going to keep going. But from time to time, I'm going to fold the base down just to make sure that the leaves will not get entangled and there will be enough room for me to fit this card in an envelope. Right here, I decided to go ahead and bring in my sentiment. I did die cut this off camera twice out of white cardstock and once out of metallic gold. Once I'm done assembling it together, I'm then going to adhere it to the card base. Now here's a tip trick hack, whatever you wanna call it. I decided to bring in an A2 sized envelope. I'm going to use this as my guide while I position and adhere the leaves to the card base. That way, once I'm done, I know it's gonna be a perfect fit to this envelope. I'm now going to finish up adding the leaves to the card and once I'm happy with the placement, I'm going to adhere them to the card base. The sentiment I'm using for this card is from Honeybee Stamps. It is their fall dye and coordinating stamp set. I selected greetings from the stamp set and from there I'm going to position the stamp on my card base and then I'm going to ink it up and stamp it twice just to make sure I have a good impression. After that, this card is done. And there you have it, a quick and easy pop-up box card to create without using a die. Thank you so much for joining me on today. I appreciate you so much for stopping by. The products that I use in this video are listed and linked below. Don't forget to subscribe, click the thumbs up button and the notification bell and check out my blog at thediaryofbellrose.com. I also have another tutorial that I think you might enjoy, so feel free to check it out. I'm sending you love and a whole lot of hugs. Until next time, please take care.